fourth and the fifth inning there, we, we get two out hits to score those two runs, and that was big uh, because Charles City had chipped away at the lead, and uh, we got it right back both times. So um, our boys earned it tonight. It wasn't easy. We knew it wouldn't be easy, um, and so I just, I'm just happy with our perseverance and our determination here tonight. And then kind of talk about Carson's game. Obviously he had those two errors, and then he came back and had Went three for three at the plate, two RBIs. Yeah, that, that's what seniors need to do. They need to shake off errors and come up and have a good at bat. The flip side's true as well. Um, we had a couple guys that didn't have hits tonight but made nice plays defensively. So uh, baseball's unique in that there's two sides of the ball, right? So uh, if one if one part of your game's off, go win anyway and, and get it done for us in the other part. And our guys did that tonight, especially, again, our seniors. And then kind of talk about the pitching. Obviously, you know, you saw a few pitchers also warm up, so kind of going through a faster pitching rotation yeah, than I mean, in past games. Right. In a single elimination tournament, both teams are going to leave nothing to chance, not going to hold any cards back, and you saw that tonight. Uh, we went to Luke fairly early there. Kirby pitched a great game in starting role. Uh, Luke pitched a great game in relief, was able to shut them down, and ends right on the dot on pitch number 40, so he can be a reliever again on Wednesday. And, uh, you know, but we got Brady Leonard going on Wednesday and feel really good about that. Obviously, West Delaware's got a big pitcher, too. He's very good. Uh, and that'll be a big challenge for us on Wednesday. Kind of going into that, West Delaware and you guys met up earlier in the year. That was a 3-2 game in your favor. Was, so kind yeah. of talk about what it's going to take on Wednesday. I think both teams have probably changed a lot since then. I think both teams are significantly better offensively than they were early in the year. That was only our second game, and I think it might have been their first. So neither offense was clicking at that time. I expect it to be a higher scoring game even with the two good pitchers on the mound. Uh, but hopefully we can clean up some of these defensive things tomorrow in practice uh, because we're going to have to work very hard to hold them down. They're very good offensively. And like I said, uh, Nick Casey's one of the better pitchers in our half of the state. And you, you, you were nervous going against Charles City because we talked a little bit about that earlier. In the last week, I guess, over there. You, you never take a team for that. Being it, having to face each other four times, you get the kind of game you expect. Absolutely. We got everything we wanted and more from Charles City because, uh, and that's that's exactly what we anticipated, um, knowing that uh, last time we played them at their place, uh, it took four runs in the bottom of the seventh to win. Uh, so we, we knew this was going to be tough. We split a doubleheader earlier in the year, and every time we saw Charles City, they were improved. That's a credit to Coach Downing and his staff. Uh, so we we knew this would be a fight tonight. It, it was it was all all of that. And I'm just happy we get one more practice and one more game out of it. 